Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, let's take a look what can happen when you have a FDM printer and a resin printer. So, Don here, how's it been going? Well, you all know I got the frozen Sonic Mini. First off, I must say, if you're looking for a fast resin printer, reliable, yes, go and get this one, if you can, because from what I've been hearing the last 24 hours on different YouTube channels, <laughs> everybody's having a hard time trying to find one. Although I know that um, here in Europe, FEPshop.com, I'll put a link down in the description. For those of you from Europe, UK, uh, you'll be able to order from them right now pre-order they're getting a new delivery around the 25th of February as they told me so you might be able to uh, order directly from them <clears throat> anyway as I said in the intro what can you do when you have a FDM printer and a resin printer. Well, you all know last year I started um, printing a battleship sci-fi model and um, I got stuck to one point because there were a lot of parts that are so small you can't really print them with an FDM printer. But now I want to show you <laughs> ah, excuse me. Now smells a battleship. Yeah. Here it is. There's still something missing. I need to get a bottle of clear resin so I can print all the windows example you can see right here hey you can see right through because there has to be a window on this side and a window on the other side big window here on the back up here on top here in the front here below up here on the front both sides oh yeah there's a lot of windows that got to come in and with those windows there'll be colored LEDs too <laughs> but yeah this model, Ausmerzer Battleship. I'll put a link down to uh, Sergio Malik's uh, webpage where you can buy this model. I mean, this thing is absolute, you know, and you have the engines, you can turn them, you know, you can articulate. Uh, movement for example where that thing is traveling forwards or whatever <laughs> but um no my biggest problem let's say for example um wait a minute just to be exact okay this little fan right here is two centimeters. So you can imagine the base of that is one centimeter. And imagine that right there. Spotlights all over. They are really tiny. The antenna, look at this little antenna right here. 
I mean, try to print something like that with an FDM printer. You can't do it. I tried it. <laughs> it was not possible. But you got all the cannons. Oh, I got all the cannons on it. Here's a big one. That's one that could have been printed with the FDM printer. That's one that I didn't see. Otherwise, it would have already been printed. Also, this one back here. But since I have a resin printer, yeah, print all of the cannons, all of the spotlights, the two antennas. I printed all of them with the resin printer. Oh, that was fun. That was really fun. Uh, for example, the spotlights. There's 20 two of them. I had them all with support on the build plate. And then three of these smaller cannons too. That was a lot of fun taking all of those things off of the build plate. But yeah, I mean now this thing's really starting to look like a model. But like I said, it's almost finished. It's almost finished. But, uh, there you can see. Oh, there's a good picture of it. <laughs> yeah, you also have a small spotlight right up here and on the other side too. They should have been a little bit bigger, I would say. And then have a clear or a white LED inside of it coming down through. Because everything's hollow inside. There's enough room inside you could put a complete battery pack in there that would last for 10 years. <laughs> so much room is in there. But, uh,. That's going to be my next project. Like I said, as soon as my disability retirement comes, then I'm going to uh, hmm, see where I can get a bottle of clear resin, some cheapest price as possible, <laughs> and then I'll make all of the windows. I've got the LEDs, I've got resistors. I'm still waiting for someone to say, hey Don, uh, if you use a 9 volt block battery with 30 LEDs, you need to put this and this resistor on each LED. Or one main resistor. Let me know down in the description below if anybody out there can tell me exactly what it is for a uh, resistor that I need. I mean, 9 volt block battery, that was my thought, you know? But uh, <clears throat> I also have. Uh, where are you? There you go. I have an extra power supply here laying around. Uh. Now this one's a 24 volt, but I know I have a uh, couple of 5 and 12 volt power, uh, so power bricks laying around too. Just have to find them. I mean, if something like that would be better, I think that would be a lot of fun. You know, just have some place where you plug it in, in the back or on the bottom, you know. To light it up, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I need a good idea for that power supply, battery, and resistor. If somebody out there can help me out with that, that would be cool. You know, let me know by 30 LEDs. Use this this resistor if you're going to use a 9 volt battery. Use this and this resistor if you're going to use a uh, 5 or 12 volt power brick. 
anyway it's just a short video to let you know how it's going how it's going with this model and as to the resin printer well that thing <laughs> well let me just say I got that when was it Monday no Friday Friday and I've been printing with that thing non-stop till yesterday got all the parts finished got all the test models finished that I was uh, printing well, I'll have to paint paint all of these now <laughs> but before I paint them I'm waiting for a friend to come over to take a look at all that so that uh, he can see what I can do with it but uh, yeah but anyway y'all yeah, take care wish all happy printing don't forget to hit the like button subscribe check out the links down below there's a buy me a coffee link too nobody has bought me a coffee in a long time for and I haven't had a coffee in a long time too <laughs> so y'all take care of yourselves until the next time bye